There is no denying um, that the partnership, you know, Kyler Murray and Coach Cliff Kingsbury, they've produced big-time results, at least for a lot of the season. The former number one overall pick has thrown 70 touchdown passes and run for another 20 scores in its first three seasons in the desert. Kyler's the only player in NFL history to reach both of those marks within his first three seasons in the league. Kimberly Martin and Teddy Bruschi back with me. Kimberly, is this the beginning of a situation with Kyler and the Cardinals? I mean, like, or, or, or is it it's still status quo in Arizona? Has something changed? Or we need to be panicking right now? Panicking, no. It's April. Now, I think it bears watching because you have an, a former number one overall pick who has three seasons under his belt, who's been an offensive rookie of the year, but has not won a playoff game, right? And I think because, you know, the head coach and the GM have gotten extensions, now you're looking at, Kyler's looking around like, where's my money? But here's the thing, it is April. You look at some of these other QB extensions that have been signed, like Josh Allen, um, Patrick Mahomes, they happen later in the summer, so we have time before these guys, before he technically has to get paid. It's just that the Cardinals have given out money and Cliff and Kyler have the same agent. So, so you're sort of wondering, like, where, where is his? But I don't think they need to give him money at this very moment. You know what, Teddy? Yeah, they used the number one overall pick on him. Yeah, he's panned out so far, but he's small. And as great as they start, they start out so hot last couple of years. They tail off. Usually he's nicked up. You know, he's, it's, it's a war of attrition, the NFL. And his desperation and his side desperation to get something done may have something to do with that, which is the same reason why the team might be like, hold on a second. So should Arizona be rushing to extend Kyler? Max, you're all over it, man. I'd be pumping the brakes on these on these extension talks. I mean, they have got him through. I mean, they've got the franchise tag, the rookie option, all of those things coming up, and why get pushed or you know strong armed into an extension when you have you're absolutely right, Max. A smaller quarterback that does get nicked and isn't as effective when he gets nicked or slightly injured because he relies so much on his explosiveness. So much on his explosiveness to run around and provide us with those highlight plays that when, when it happens and you've got a lower extremity injury and you're that small, it's like, now I can't do this. So now everybody's catching up to me. And now those, those hits, they hurt that much more. So Arizona's got to take all this into consideration before you invest all of this money into him. And now there's, there's another thing. How much of a leader is this guy at the quarterback position? I think you seriously have to consider that with the way he's handled himself. How is he viewed upon in the locker room by veteran players? So is a trade somehow an option? I think they have to explore all of their avenues when it comes to their quarterback position. Teddy makes so many great points. He, and I agree with all of them. My question is, the Cardinals just need to be consistent because you bring up the size, you bring up uh, Kyler's his, his, his style of play. These are all things we knew when he was drafted. And for the organization to extend the coach who didn't have a good college record, whose team, you mentioned how they start off hot, tail off, that's also on the head coach too. So if we're giving money to the head coach and not the QB, which we knew the kid was small, like the, you guys drafted him. So that's my only, I agree with Teddy, but I just want the Cardinals to at least be consistent with what their plan is going forward. Well, I mean, we talk, I mean, we, we talk about Kyler and any issues and all the reports and the rumors about the immaturity Guys, we, we had Kelvin yeah. Beecham. That's his right tackle on his offensive line. We had him on the morning drive show on the radio, Keyshawn, Jay, Will, and Max. And he was saying it, that, that he has some growing up to do. His yes. offensive lineman publicly yes. was saying it. There are a lot of red flags here, as talented as he is, guys. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.